Okay, in today's Pontiac video, a whole bunch of little but not very exciting things are happening that are time consuming, but have to happen so you can get things on order. For starters, Pixie's taking the car apart. We had to get that open because we really want to get some sail panel lights in there. And we're going to have to figure that out because there's not a lot of back space. One of the other major things that we sorted out is we're not going to feed hoses through that wall. We are going to do one of the bulkheads. So we've identified a bulkhead and the connectors. We've ordered our tool for the hoses. Um, well, yeah, going through documents, figuring that out. The other giant thing that has happened so far, and of course we I didn't think to take a video while we were doing it, is we had the backup camera uh, working on the bench so we could figure out exactly how it was triggered and how it all worked and what it looked like because he's going to design a console to go just forward to that shifter location and then back up under so that he has a backup camera because this thing is kind of a beast and the mirrors in this generation not the greatest so that will help him out quite a bit so that's part of what we have gotten done so far today um, there will be more updates so yeah unfortunately it doesn't look like anything but you know you gotta spend the time sitting and talking about it but yeah and I've talked him into getting Buick style sail panel lights because I think it's gonna fit the vibe that that we're going with and then on the uh that's that's the one that covers the spare tire here it is so it's most likely going to be uh right down on the end down here there's not a lot of room the wheel well is there so we'll get that sorted out that's going to be really really nice so Okay, oh, and then sorting out how we're going to extend the AirPod controls because we're not going to put that Bluetooth module way up in the air like they had it. We're going to move it and it'll be part of that front console. So, oh, Shop Dog. Shop Dog is here supervising, of course. Yeah, so we've got to integrate this into that front console as well because you do occasionally still need to be able to hook up a laptop so we can't bury it so he's gonna work that out on his learning how to fiberglass bye shop dog shop dog isn't into all this high-tech uh, CAD design work we're doing so we're doing two bits of uh, cardboard aided design right now he's working on the profile for his console and I'm starting to work out the locations for the AC to hang. And then a trick, because apparently not everybody knew that. If you want to know where holes are, you put your material up, and then you just paint. And now when I take this cardboard down, I'll know exactly where all those holes are. They're quite obvious. But we're trying to figure out what I'm going to have to do to make the bracket, because obviously those aren't even close to flush. So I'm going to just bend up a new bracket, you know, drill some holes in it. We'll deal with that. We really want these bolts to come from the firewall. So that's going to have to be mapped out. Um, we've decided that we're going to do that plate here. So we have to get the, the hose ends on order for that. And we're trying to decide exactly where that's going to go. It's probably going to go over here, way out of the way. Don't forget, we still have to also get that heater valve incorporated. So, unfortunately, with these aftermarket things, this is just the reality. They're ugly, but, you know, it'll work. So, yeah, we're starting to get this sorted out. So, I'm going to pop that out and start working out exactly where... What my distances are and i got the customer to accept the fact that we're welding the plate from the inside 
just like it's sitting right now with the cardboard. So that lip will grind it down, but it's not going to be a uh, perfectly smooth firewall. That was never the goal for this car. Okay, so with the aid of our computer uh, cardboard aided design, we made a new bracket. And yes, this whoopties on purpose because there's going to be a lot of weight. So that's the original bracket. So now we know our bolt spacing. We have something that's a lot flatter because our firewall will be flat. And even though that's all they intended, according to their instructions, I think before we're done, when we do mount it for the last time, we're also going to put a bracket from the front somewhere just up into the structure. Because this is a bit of weight to just hang off of a couple bits of bits of sheet metal. So, yeah, we're, we're going to add that to it a little bit. And you can see we've got our mock plate back in with some of the holes located. And then the other hole winds up right in that rib right there. So that'll be perfect. We'll be actually even be able to get at it without pulling the motor. Just more of the fun little things you have to figure out. Here is the factory defrost vent with the two location holes that we'd like to reuse. We also really would like to use those spreaders, but the rest of this obviously we can't. This is the, the generic vents, you know, with a standard inlet. We can probably come up with a way to epoxy those just below those vents make that one piece so we can still use the hoses leave enough of this structure and then maybe build a piece across here and then we can chop that off we'll have to play with that because we want it out of the way the other thing is this comes with remote vents for your feet instead of anybody in a stock gm knows it jumps right over the hump and that's it you know that's where your feet go and that's that's it so we got two of these vents. So we got to figure out where we're gonna run those as well. So yeah, it gives us a little couple options. Well, I almost forgot to end this video. We had an unusual afternoon. There's secondary shop dog, primary shop dog. So on today's Pontiac video, we mostly worked on the 69 Camaro, which is in the other shop. Um, did a lot of cardboard aided design, trying to work out how some of the air conditioning stuff's actually going to mount. Diesel and Pixie spent a lot of time playing with cardboard, building up the uh, center console that they're going to do that has the backup camera monitor in it uh, some cup holders some places to put their cell phones and and some charger ports so you know those are all the little things you got to work out that's the plate i've got to turn into a nice thick piece of sheet metal so it's kind of nice having that all worked out and all its shape worked out um yeah, I, uh, we didn't do really a lot of wiring today. All we did was uh, get the backup camera and front camera and display working so that we knew exactly how they worked because eh, the instructions that come with that kind of stuff is always, always got something to be desired. So we got that all taken care of. And yeah that's kind of where we're at and it doesn't look like a lot happened today but an awful lot got, got sorted out today we got quite a few parts on order and uh yeah oh and got the rest of the firewall cleaned up i mean look at that it looks brand new it looks like they just freaking pressed that and painted it the, uh tuesday it looks gorgeous 
Yeah, when you live in Minnesota, a car like this that's this solid, it's just, it's a rare and wonderful thing. You know, I realize in the south you see a little bit of, of surface rust and you freak out, but up here, oh, that's nothing. When all the bolts come out, that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So, that's where we are. And now I remembered to end the video. So I'll put this up for the people that have been waiting for Pontiac videos. But no, nothing, nothing real crazy has happened. You know, not a lot that anybody can see. Although the covers are off because we are going to get some sail panel lights in there and some connectors for speakers unfortunately we're we're not going to have room to get the speakers he wants in there so we will have some connectors that he can plug the speakers into and he can do some separate boxes um, although the subwoofer in the well He's got that all sorted out, and we're currently storing it in the Impala because it's got to be somewhere safe. So, if I come around. So, he's got his subwoofer mounted on the board, and there's the amplifier. It's the exact same ones we used in, in Sweet Pea. So, yeah, he did a nice job. It's all feathered around. It's all ready to be mounted down. A little bit of wiring and a junction block or two to go, but yeah, this is this is looking pretty good. So yeah, like I said, a lot of little things happening in the background that eh, are hard to display on the videos. You know, pretty soon once the Dynamat's in we should be able to start mounting this fuse box. So, all right. You guys have a good night.